good evening guys um, in today's video I'll be explaining how you should cast your parapet precast beam now see in this video this is your plank and uh, the, the iron have been placed inside so the iron is a triangular iron. okay let me show you from this part that haven't been casted as you can see is a triangular angle with three straight rod please make sure your ring this is the higher ring let it be in interval of nine inches this is another ring as you can see in interval of nine inches then after placing cast your concrete please make sure your concrete is very pure uh, the ratio we use in this both the aggregate and the sand and the cement is 9 head pan. We have the stone of 5 head pan, the sand of 4 head pan for 50 kg cement. So when casting your space, make it very pure so that it will be solid enough to carry the fascia you wanted to use. So you cast half. You cast half. After casting the half, it will cover the two iron in the down part. Now it will now remain this one, this single one. Is the one you will use to install your parapet. Anyway, you can also use the rectangular shape of iron. So you can also use the triangular. What the most important thing is your concrete to, should be very strong. Then the interval of your ring should be minimal. It shouldn't be so far from each other so that the iron won't bend in the middle when installing your parapet. Here we use we use our 12 mm iron. Then there are another type of uh, beam. Depends on the type of fascia you wanted to use. If it's a big fascia, then let me show you this type you will use. Uh, you, have, you still need to add some iron. Let me show you. Yeah, here it is. You can see that this one is very, very different from the other one I show you that is rectangular shape. Uh, that is triangular shape. This one is rectangular shape. We still have another two iron down the concrete. This one has been casted a few days ago. So it has uh, it's now very solid, as you can see. It is very, very strong. We use 12 mm, then we use 10 mm for the ring. You can see the interval. It's also 9 inches interval. But we have external iron. Why do we have this? When your fascia is heavy or is big, then after installing your fascia, uh, you will still see how we install the fascia in the next, uh, as you are watching this video. Keep watching, you will see at the end of the video when the fascia has been installed. So you have to bend this back to the parapet after the installation how you are going to bend it to i will show you in the video so keep watching as i'm going to explain every details of fascia also the same ratio of cement for this let uh, let it be very pure so that it will be solid enough to carry the load so we call this reinforcement beam it is highly important for your precast if you don't want your parapet to collapse in the future Please, please, and please make sure you use this beam. It's highly important. It's highly important. Use this beam. Cast it half. As you can see, this is the block. And this has been casted four inches from here to here. This is four inches casted. And we still have about five inches here. So after installation of the parapet, you are going to cast the remaining part of the concrete with your parapet. Thanks for watching.